Taylor. In is Christian Yelich. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Oh, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Hit on the ground toward the left. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time, they won't now get him out on the play. The Into the box, Keston Hira. Yeah. And she'll take a changeup here for strike one. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. And that's through into center field. Base hit. One run is scored. And the second run will score as well. Now batting. No left fielder. Ryan. At the plate now, Ryan Braun. And so take a look at ball one. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2-0 count. Runners on base. Find something middle of the plate and let it rip. Two balls and a strike to Braun. Down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2-2. Two and two. From the belt. Kicks and deals. And he'll strike out here yet again as it's been a ball game to forget the thus far. Game. Four Number strikeouts. Got there. Here's the first pitch to him. Justin Smoke is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Awesome execution right there. Great pitcher's pitch and an excellent job to get ahead in a tough spot. One and one the count to the Brewers' first baseman. One and two now as that one's fouled off. From the belt, the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Another one sent foul. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. And here's one that barely misses off the inside corner. Two and two. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. Another try at 2-2. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two. As he arrives at second without a play, as also on the play, a run down comes down across to score. Oh, Will Harris enters now in a mop up oh, yeah. role as he'll try to keep Your the deficit please. right where it is. Now picking for Washington. Number 36, Will Harris. So now to the plate, Omar Narvaez, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. It was a walk in his last trip. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. Fouled away. The one two. That was a nasty pitcher's pitch right there. Most guys strike out on that one. He was able to scramble out a little bit and give him another chance. And hopefully this pitcher misses over the heart of the plate. That's a foul ball off to the left. And it moves to one and two. Has a look. Now the pitch. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number the two. Number three. Shortstop. Orlando. First pitch of the at bat. Orlando Garcia is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1 0. Oh. 
outside with the cut fastball there, and it's a two-ball count. When you're down six on the mound, you got to at least throw strikes here. Got his 2-0 fastball, but he was way behind, 2-1. and one. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at 2-2. Two and two. Has a look, now the pitch. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Thames is there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. Your Brent Suter please. will come on now and he'll he slide into the seven the spot in the lineup now following the double switch. Manny Pena is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Number nine, Manny. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Juan Soto is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Here now the two two. He is swung on and missed. He got him. At the plate, Eric Thames. It was a walk in his last trip. Eric Thames. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And it's fouled away. One half, nobody on. Fouled off. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. The batter number four. So stepping in, Starlin Castro. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Strike one to start the at bat. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Last strike now for the Nats. This is on the ground over to first. Throw on to first, and the ball game is over. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. 15 to 9 at its conclusion. The Brewers posted 15 runs in this one. Ray Black is credited with the win. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network.